Okay, it's a windy one today. We're going golfing in the wind. It's good to get out after Christmas, get all that past you. Bit of fresh air, brilliant. Okay, so into the wind today, the idea is to try and keep the spin off it. So I'm going to try and play the course and use the wind to the best of my ability rather than fight against it. The less spin I put on the golf ball, the straighter the ball flight, therefore it's not exaggerated by the wind. So I'm going to try and play this quite comfortably or within my strength. So we're starting off here, we've got a par 5 way up there. Is 506 yards off these tees into the wind, and I'm going to hit two iron with my tee shot to try and keep a little bit lower. And you know, it's going to be three shots to get to this green anyway, so there's no point hitting driver because if I spin that too much, it's gone. <laughs> swing nice and short, reduce back swing, reduce follow through, sawn off, keep the spin off, just drill out there, straight lines are good. it's into the wind and you get a stroke just play it as a four shot hole you know just if it's four irons to get to the green that's going to keep it short straight lines and play do that you might even get two shots you might be able to hit the green in four and a half to five shots and play it that way that's the game today i'm going to try and do the same hope you can hear me okay <laughs> today i'm going to do the same so i'm playing this as a three shotter i've hit two iron i'll probably i don't know what i'll be hitting next maybe probably a four iron then maybe seven iron to the green but it's straight lines and I'm going to keep it in play, reducing the spin. The more spin I put onto the golf ball in these conditions, the more the axis gets tilt because the wind exaggerates it. Therefore, I'm further offline. Short, punchy ones. Right, I'm in a decent spot. My yard is things decided not to work. There it has. There it has. You ever had your neck on die on you before? That's a bummer, right? Okay, that's died. So now we've no yardages, hammer into the wind. I know it's a long, long way to get over to get to the second group of bunkers. I'm going to hit four iron, so I've hit two iron, going with four iron. Four iron for me is normally 210, 220, around about there. Um, if I can get this up there 180 ish, I'm going to leave myself maybe seven or eight iron to the green. We'll see. So again, sawn off, swing, just nice and short, smooth. That wind's died a little bit, that's nice. So just down the shaft, short back, short through to keep the spin off. Very punchy, very Tommy Fleetwood. Brilliant. Yeah, that's really good. That's just up the right hand side, that's a perfect line in from there. Although the pin's back right. But you can't have it all, can you? <laughs> You'll have noticed in the last two shots we're going full at Eureka here. Aiming left, bringing that club inside and exploding out to the right. Just transforms, oof, just, oof, I can speak. Transforms your ball strike in that Eureka move. Check my other videos for that. I've tried a little bit of other things lately. I've tried a bit more Bryson DeChambeau one plane stuff. It's amazing when you do videos, you you try it out in the golf course. So I played with Lloyd a couple of days ago. Played these same four holes, tried a Bryson swing if you like. Terrible, absolutely terrible. That was just me, not Bryson. Couldn't adapt to that. Back to Eureka, I've just hit two iron, four iron, out the middle. There we go. Okay, the Nikon's just kicked back into play. 103 yards, pin is back right of the green. I'm going left of that, I'm anywhere. 103 yards on the green is fine, but I must be left of the pin, don't want to miss it to the right. We're going with the wedge. Wedge is normally 140. This is probably playing about 140. Keep it smooth though, keep that spin off. Ball back, try and knock it down a little bit. Ball back, just left the pin's good. Yeah, happy with that. 
self-talk is such a good thing on the golf course. I find that when I do these videos and I talk my way through what I'm going to do, it's almost like it computes a little bit better and I execute the shots a lot better because it's, I'm saying out verbally exactly what I'm trying to do and obviously it's, it just computes obviously better in the brain. Is there a brain in there? 506 yards, par 5, 4 iron, sorry, 2 iron, 4 iron wedge. Right, par 4, 272, the green is up just at the corner of the trees there, so you hit up onto this plateau here, then turn right. There's loads of room from left to right, so it's driver. It's driver, but it's not a huge driver, we don't have to batter this thing, we want to keep the spin off it, into the breeze, hit it with ease. Remember that. That's what keeps the spin down. So it's smooth driver. Smooth driver will get me past those bunkers easy. Smooth. Sort off and smooth. Yeah, I even caught it a little bit of the heel, but it's still fine because I kept the spin down by swinging smooth. Ah, it's fine. So even the heel ball in the wind. Well, that was a heel ball because I kept it smooth and I kept it nice and relaxed if you like that, I kept the spin off it so therefore we've got away with it just play the wind ball right I healed the smooth wind ball over the bunkers there left myself 66 yards which is just a little flick but I'm going to take my 50 I'm going to take my 50 degree wedge winds off the left now into and off the left so I'm playing left of the pin again I'm going for the green two putts moving on Yards, just visualising that number. Left of the pin's good. Let's be aware I've got loads of club here, so 66 yards up there. Oh, we got clean. It's fine though. Okay, we bit clean, we bit thinny. Just maybe too much club and trying to be too cute with it, so therefore never really committed to it. But again, I took the length of swing to go with the shot and took the wind into consideration, so do you know what? It's good enough. It wasn't pretty, but I'm on the green. Putting for three. We'll take a four and we'll move on. Bollocks, we'll hold a three, eh? Okay, a nice bank there to help that because I caught it so thin or so clean. There was quite a lot of spin on it, it was just a bit of a weird one. <coughs> Big slope here left to right, how it stopped there I have no idea. In winter time the greens aren't quite as fast so it stops in these little holes, the aeration holes, so I guess that's what's happened. This is tough, as I say two putts is my four, using the wind so I'll be quite happy with that to be honest. Just lag this round. Yeah, it's good. Right, par par start, we've done it. Into the wind, now we've got two holes downwind. Here's a thing for you. This is downwind, 430 yards par four, we're off a back winter tee, so it's playing longer than the summer. What generally tends to happen is this. 
you've got on the tee downwind and your pals will say, hey Stevie, you'll get a lot closer to the green today because it's downwind, you'll be able to smash this miles. Don't fall into that trap. The idea here is, let's imagine you had 170 yards downwind or, or, or flat white lie, no wind, 170 yards and seven iron's the number for you. Okay, so you hit seven iron. Then you're hitting towards a pin downwind, 170 yards, you're not going to hit seven iron. You're going to hit maybe 9 iron downwind, okay? So we're hitting driver here. I want to put myself in the same place on the fairway as I'd normally be with a driver in the cam. So I don't want to hit any further than I have to because I'm still going to be hitting a shorter club in. So rather than hitting driver here, I know it's 450 odd yards downwind. It's 430 from there, 450, maybe 460 downwind. I'm not hitting driver to get any further. I'm going to hit my hybrid. So I'm going to hit this to make sure I land where my driver normally is. And then I'm still hitting a shorter shot in because I'm downwind. Rather than getting souped into the, you'll hit a miles here, you'll only be flicking on. But really, then it's putting pressure on me. There's more chance of me losing the, or missing fairly because I'm trying to hit the ball even further because it's downwind. Don't fall into that trap. So many times you hear that, oh, you'll drive the green here. And they're jumping all over it. If you're playing match play against someone, if you're playing match play against someone, say that. Tell them, you'll drive the green here. Looking forward to watching this. You can guarantee after that comment, that's a missed fairway. So hybrid, nice smooth. Hybrid's going to get it higher in the air as well, obviously. <clears throat> so we're going to get that carry up to where driver normally is. From a hybrid, teed up a little bit more than normal. Nice, smooth hybrid. Free draw, yeah, that's lovely. That's exactly where driver would normally be. That's, that's E1. I'm happy with that. Again, that's the tutorial side of things. That's me telling you guys what I'm going to do which allowed me to pull that shot off. So I just confirmed in my mind, this is what I'm doing. This is why I'm doing it, by telling you guys. Then it seemed easier to pull the shot off. So maybe in your pre-shot routine, you could do that. You could think, let's imagine I'm talking to somebody here. Let's imagine I'm explaining to somebody how I'm going to do things. Cruise it off. Right, good drive. Excellent tee shot. Left myself 136. I normally leave myself about 150 here in the summer, so I've actually hit it further than my driver would. So 150 would normally be 9 iron. I've hit this further, I'm hitting 50 degree weighted. 50 degree? 50 degree. You know, if I'd hit driver there, I'd have left myself. I'd have been an extra couple of clouds of yards up there, I'd have been sort of 70, 60 yards to the green, which has left that shitty little shot that I had in the last hole. That's the last thing I want to do. So by using my skills to leave the ball where I normally am, it's left still a shorter shot in. It's a win-win. So this is normally full pitching wedge. <coughs> I'm going full out, 50 degree, pins on the front, so anywhere past the pins, right? 50 degree wedge, get a nice and high. That might be a gimme. If I zoom in, the zoom's not great. Nah, that's not a gimme. Good effort though. That's another thing there, you know, the, the previous hole I left that 66 yards, I think it was. Not a great distance for me that, and then of course hitting driver here with the left about that number. If you can avoid, if you're, if you're able to try and avoid leaving that same number all the time, I mean, if you're not good from 80 yards in, just leave yourself 100 yards all the time. All the time. to work on the button. Very good chance missed there, four feet. Greens are a bit bumpy, <laughs> that's my excuse. So level par, we've played three holes in the wind, we've used the wind on all three holes. Final hole here is the fourth hole, which is down there, there. 
Uh, Trolley just blew away. 363 yards. Jet ski's normally way back there. You can see, so we've obviously we're quite a bit further forward being a winter course, but I'm gonna I don't want to leave that 50 yard shot, so I think rescue's gonna leave that. So I'm just gonna hit seven iron off it. Seven. Six, seven, seven, six, seven. We're gonna go six. Just nuked that six iron. Four iron. Four iron. Hitting six iron there seemed a bit extreme, but that's of course the, the gents tee's 70 odd yards behind the ladies tee that we played from. So it's put me in a position just a little bit past where driver normally goes in neutral conditions, what we call them. Right hand six iron off the tees left me 154, it was a clever play. I've left myself, oh sorry, 134, which is full 54 degree in these conditions. So again, leave myself that full shot was clever. Downwind. Nice aggressive shot. 130 downwind. Front of the green wasn't the best result, but we'll take it. It's amazing how, in this four hole test, if you like, wind test, we'll call it, um, I've been more aggressive downwind than I have been into the wind. There's loads to take from that, as I said earlier on into the breeze, hit it with ease, keep the spin off, keep it nice and low. Downwind, we're hitting a little bit harder, getting a higher, putting more spin on it to control it on the green. It's interesting, that. or is it? There we go, so into the breeze, hit it with ease, downwind, go for it, be more aggressive downwind than you are into the wind. People would realise it's or, or perceive it's the other way, you've got to hit it harder into the wind, that's just trouble, that's just going to put you in a lot more difficulty. So guys, if you've uh, enjoyed this video, please leave comments below, also hit the thumbs up button, and please be sure to subscribe to the channel, it just takes seconds and it's free, remember. Yeah.